Hello, good morning. How was your vacation? So welcome to the course of discrete mathematics. And if you didn't hear about it before, I will give you a brief uh, introduction of this course. That why we need this course. Whenever you go into a new class or uh, something new, always there is a question in your mind that why do you need that thing why do you need to study this specific class so of course you will have a question in your mind that why do you need to study discrete mathematics all of you belong to this um to the to the subject of computer science and sooner sooner or later you have to 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 um, do uh, some kind of computer science coding and everywhere in your coding in your programming you will be dealing with discrete mathematics first question that why I need to study so first of all definitely there is a question in your mind that why I need to study this course I already told you that this course genuinely belongs to your major that's why they, they didn't offer this course to you in the first semester first they offered you some basic physics some basic mathematics in your first and second semesters now once you are done with the basics of those things now in the third semester they offered you this course and that is the prerequisite of this subject. If you are going to study discrete mathematics, you are must to have studied already the advanced mathematics. If you have not studied advanced mathematics, if you didn't study advanced mathematics, then you are not supposed to go to the discrete mathematics. And this course now, is to build your maturity to go to the field of the computer science so actually first you made some foundation of mathematics and now there is a pillar in between your major field which is the computer science technology and the basic mathematics there is a bridge which is discrete mathematics this bridge will build a mathematical maturity in yourself so that you can professionally enter into the computer science and technology if you do not study this subject if you do not have this bridge you can never go to the computer science and technology you will fall down in the midway so just keep in mind that this subject is actually a bridge for you to jump into your major which is computer science and this subject will create some kind of mathematical maturity in you and it will teach you how to think mathematically uh, there's a simple thing that um, for example somebody he belongs to a royal family so it is a definite thing that his son will also belong to the royal family so it means if a person a he belongs to a very royal family then for sure if his son is named as b then it is for sure that the son will also be from royal family because his sister his, his parent is a royal family member this is a daily life situation and you really love to hear such kind of things because this is a daily life conversation now how to write this thing in mathematics so it is very simple that if x is something 
that belongs to a family S, then X plus 1 will also belongs to the S. Now this thing is exactly equal to this thing. A person belongs to the family, royal family, so his son will also belong to the royal family. X belong to the set S. X plus 1 will also belong to the set S. So you can compare both of these situations. It means X is the person A and he belong to the royal family, the set of S. Then when X will produce a child, so that will be X plus 1, one child. Then of course X plus 1 will also belong to the family S. So the same situation, the daily life situation, we are writing it into a mathematical situation. This course is all about to teach how to write every situation mathematically. Now these two are similar, but for you, this is very interesting. The, a, a father belongs to royal family, so the son also belongs to royal family. But when you write the same thing in mathematical way, this seems to be very boring because this is mathematics. Same is the example that if there is a person who is very hungry and he don't know about counting, he don't know about mathematics and you ask him a question, what is two plus two? Since he don't know counting, so he will say, I don't know. But if you ask him that what is two bread plus two bread and he will at once tell you that okay four breads. So it means if the situation is like this, if the situation has some interesting factor, the daily life factor, it seems easy to us. But when the thing, same thing goes to the mathematics, it becomes boring. We are going to learn how to think mathematically and how to uh, convert a real life situation into mathematics. This course is going to build mathematical maturity in you. There is another example that if you want to print a book and you give the command and computer is printing the book for you, it's a very easy task. You just click on one button and the book is printing from the printer. Everything is smooth. It looks very easy. But if you ask from the computer that when you click the enter button of print command, what he is facing? He is facing a huge amount of computer science programming behind it, which is telling the compute, the printer to okay, do this, do this, do this every second. There is a command going to the com from computer to the printer and the printer gives you a printout. So physically, the situation looks very simple, just like this. But behind the scene, the computer knows that how difficult it is for him to do the printing per second. So all these, these things belong to the discrete mathematics. So now can you tell me what is the meaning of discrete? Some kind of relationship, sir. Sir, uh, discrete uh, is uh, what is individually separated. Yeah. So you can identify separately. Okay. Okay. So your, your, your definition of discrete is okay. It is discrete. The word discrete, it simply means uh, uh, something separated. Individual. So what you have to do in this course is very simple. First, there are two things. First thing is that if you want to become more logical, if you want to be want to think more logically, if you want to think mathematically, you have to do two things, and these two things we are going to build up in this course. First is learn the language.
लैंग्वेज ऑफ वॉट लैंग्वेज ऑफ मैथ सेकेंड स्टेप इज ओपन योर ब्रेन वॉट डज दैट मीन हाउ यू ओपन योर ब्रेन डू यू नीड अ स्क्रू ड्राइवर टू ओपन योर ब्रेन कैन यू डू दैट Can you open your brain by a screw driver? Like no, sir. Okay, then how to open the brain? By practicing. Yeah, by practicing, by thinking deeply, by not only memorizing the things, but thinking, always asking questions. That why, why this, why not this? Whenever you have some issue. just raise your hand and ask why if you build up this thing if something is not coming into your mind and you ask a question it simply means open your brain think broadly if the situation is given to you this just not focus on it why not to expand it think more broadly that okay if the situation has some other conditions then what will happen so first thing is you need to learn learn the language of mathematics and the second thing is you have to concentrate more on this language you have to raise questions you have to think more think logically 